Hey there pretty people and welcome back to Such Pretty. I did a studio tour um, a couple weeks ago and asked if anybody wanted to see more in depth like um, what I have from a certain brand and overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly you guys said um, you wanted to see Urban Decay and I decided since I don't really have much Urban Decay outside of um, eyeshadows. I do have some, some uh, some skin products and stuff, um, but I really don't have that much. I'm just going to show you my eyeshadows because I'm pretty sure that's what all of you are here for. And it is so hot in my studio. Summer just like crashed down in Colorado today. Um, I have no, I, I don't even know. It is so hot. So I'm going to turn on my fan and um, hopefully I can fix all that noise in post, but uh, I will not be able to do this video without the fan. Okay, so hopefully that's not too much of a bother for you, but um, I'm going to start with just like my one-off single eyeshadows that I have. Um, and I have three <clears throat> of their Moondust eyeshadows, which um, if you don't know are eyeshadows that um, are glittery and they apply much better with a fingertip than um, with a brush, I would say for sure. Um, the three that I have are Zodiac, Glitter Rock, and Solstice, Solstice being my absolute favorite. Um, these are the newer type of packaging where they just um, pop out. Uh, I also have a couple of their regular shadows. Um, Sin and Fireball. Sin is just one that I got in a bag and I have it like 20 times over as you'll see in my palettes. But um, these are the two regular shadows that I have. And then, um, I don't know if you guys remember, long ago they used to have different types of eyeshadows and they would put them in um, different sections at the makeup counter and they were called different things. So they used to have um, their standard eyeshadow and then they had a matte eyeshadow and then they had their deluxe eyeshadows which looked like this. Um, these used to have little dome things over the top of them, little clear dome things, um, but they made them extremely cumbersome to uh, to package really, and or to store, and I really didn't like them so I popped them off of every single one. And um, now the stickers are all coming off of all of them and whatever, but um, they all have their own little artwork on them. And um, they're super cute. And I really like them. They came with a little mirror inside and it came with more eyeshadow than, or at least I think more eyeshadow than your standard circle pan. Um, but the colors that I have in these are Honey, Sting, Frigid, Ransom, Fishnet, and Freak Show. So they're mostly purples. I am like a purple, I'm like a purple eyeshadow freak probably. Uh, four of these are purples. <laughs> um, so those are the deluxe ones that I have. Um, something that's interesting that some of you may not know is that these Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadows were released before, but they were under a different name. Um, they had different, they also had some different uh, shades and um, different packaging. They were released before, but they had the same type of like um, instructions, like applying them with a the fingertip will be, will yield a lot more payoff than applying them with a brush. So what those are called, were called were the Urban Decay Stardust eyeshadows. And they open like this, you, you squeeze the outside and they just pop right open. So that's pretty neat. Ooh. I have two of these. Um, one of them, this one is Bobby Dazzle, and we'll actually see in one of the palettes. Uh, it's mostly just sparkle. We'll see in one of the palettes here that um, they made Bobby Dazzle again in a different color. And then this one's called Atmosphere, and it is a nice teal, much more pigmented than the previous one. My lighting is really bad in here. I really need to get new lighting. Um, I'm really hoping to get like a ring light or something soon, I hope. Now I will move on to um, the palettes that I have that are not Vice palettes or um, Book of Shadow palettes. And I'm gonna try and do these in order, but I'm really not sure like 100% what the order is which in which I got them. So I'm just gonna kind of wing it. But the first pal palette that I ever got from Urban Decay, um, or I guess it's really the first purchase my mom ever made from Urban Decay is the Ammo palette, and they recently re-released this um, with the new eyeshadow formula, but this is the old formula, and the eyeshadows in this are Smog, Mildew, Oil Slick, Last Call, Chopper, Maui Wowie, Shattered, Polyester Bride, Grifter, and Sin. This is a well-loved palette for sure. Next would be probably this palette, which is the Urban Decay Deluxe eyeshadow palette, and that comes with 
some of the same deluxe, deluxe eyeshadows that I just showed you, um, but they're in a smaller form and they're all um, in one place. And the ones that are here are Fishnet, Honey, Ransom, Graffiti, Zero, Peace, Shag, Scratch, and Underground. The next palette that I probably got um, is the Vegan palette. And um, it looks like this. And the colors are Minx, Herb, Gunmetal, Twice Baked, Smog, and Half Baked. Then I then it, it was probably um, the black palette, which I really really love. It has one of the most um, sooty blacks I've ever used, which is Black Dog. And you can see that all of the all of the colors in this palette are black based. I will read off the, the names for you: Black Dog, Barracuda, Jet, Sabbath, Cobra, and Libertine. Next would probably be the Urban Decay, um, the Glinda palette. And I like the packaging of this palette because you can pop the eyeshadows out. Um, but the eyeshadows that come with this are Tornado, Aura, Magic, Illusion, Oz, and Self. Looks like this. Next will probably be, it's probably like my favorite palette from Urban Decay to date. And you probably can all guess that it is the Electric palette. And in case you don't know, the shades are Revolt, Gonzo, Slow Burn, Savage, Fringe, Chaos, Jilted, Urban, Freak, and Thrash. And now we will move on to the Naked palettes. I only have Naked 1 and Naked Smoky. Um, I'm not a big fan of just neutral makeup, and I have a really big collection of like Bare Minerals that has a lot of neutral tones in it, so I don't go clamoring for like the next nude palette. Um, and as you can see, I'm a pretty colorful person, so um, the next nude palette really just doesn't hit my radar usually. But I, I am, now that I'm getting older, seeing more uses for browns in colorful looks and uses for neutrals in colorful looks. So I'm a lot, um, I'm a lot more apt to use these now. But in case you don't know the um, colors for these, Naked One is Virgin, Sin, Naked, Sidecar, Buck, Half-Baked, Smog, Dark Horse, Toasted, Hustle, Creep, and Gun Metal. And then for Naked Smoky, High, Dirty Sweet, Radar, Armor, Slanted, Dagger, Black Market, Smolder, Password, Whiskey, Combust, and 13. So now we can get to what you probably have all been waiting for, which is um, all of the Urban Decay Book of Shadows and Vice palettes. So I'm going to start with the Book of Shadows. These, This is the Book of Shadows 1. So this is the yearly palette that um, Urban Decay used to release around the holidays, around September, October, um, instead of the Vice palette. And once they got bought out by a bigger company, they switched over to Vice um, and kind of kind of got rid of this Book of Shadows format. Um, which I'm actually happy for because this packaging is ridiculous. It is like super bulky and it comes out as a drawer, uh, which is not my favorite thing. And the drawer doesn't come out either of most of these, at least not easily. Um, it came with two of the little, of the 24 seven eyeliners and a primer potion. And um, here's just a quick look at what the colors look like. And the colors are, Perversion, Last Call, Grifter, Mayhem, Baked, Smog, Sidecar, Gridlock, Shakedown, Roach, Scandal, Midnight Cowboy, Goddess, Shattered, Absinthe, Absinthe and Protest. And here is Urban Decay, uh, Book, of Shadow, Book of Shadows Volume 2. It has some purple foil packaging. Um, it doesn't have that flip up. Oh yes, it does. I was lying. It has a flip up mirror with... Um, Wow, it's been so long, I don't even remember. This is like Christmas. And then it has this little book in it. And inside of the book, let's see. It's just got like glossy pages of looks that they did with the Vice palette. So um, that's pretty neat. I've actually, I actually don't remember ever opening that. I got this like a bajillion years ago, so it's very possible that I have, but I don't recall at all. Um, my little ribbon, that opens the drawer came out so I have to like shake it open. Again it came with two 24-7 out 24-7 pencils and a primer potion. The um colors for this one are perversion, gunmetal, ecstasy, ACDC, nylon, sellout, mushroom, sphinx, half baked, twice baked, midnight midnight cowboy rides again, 
YDK, Jinx, Flipside, Homegrown, and Misdemeanor. The third one did not have a volume name because it was made for Alice in Wonderland, the live action movie. So here is the inside. And here is what the shadows look like. I have barely used this palette at all. It is shameful. Um, what they did with this palette is they had existing Urban Decay shades that they um, just name, renamed with uh, Alice in Wonderland names. So I will go ahead and tell you what the, I'm not sure what all of the names are. Um, and if I do know it, I'll say it. But Underland is like a Delic sister. Um, I'm not sure what Alice is. I think Oraculum is baked. Queen, I believe, is... Um, Oh, I don't know, Last Call maybe? I'm not sure. Um, Chasseur, White Rabbit is Polyester Bride. Wonderland, Curiouser is Grifter. Um, Muchness, Mushroom is Mushroom. Midnight Tea Party is Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. Or it might just be Midnight Cowboy. I'm not sure. Vorpal, Absalom, which I think is Kush, but don't trust, don't quote me on it. Drink Me, Eat Me is Sin. Mad Hatter, and then Jabberwocky is Oil Slick. So they just renamed all the shadows that already existed, and this is the third, the third palette. Now, I don't recall which one of these came out first, but maybe it has a year on it. I um, am not sure if this is the fourth one or the fifth one, because I just don't remember. I don't remember. It, it doesn't, this one doesn't have like a name on it or a number or anything. Um, but this is another one. It's either the third one or the fourth one. Uh, and this is the inside here. And then inside it has these cards with QR codes that you can scan with your phone to get looks. And then it also had like a speaker in it. This is, this packaging was my favorite because it was like the first one where the drawer, drawer came completely out. Um, the speaker for your phone went here. It had a primer potion, a small curling mascara. Um, and then... It had um, a 24-7 eyeliner pencil, a liquid one, which is now my very favorite black eyeliner ever. Um, and they, this is where they first kind of like, like released it. They had released it, but it, it's where they first kind of like, I don't know, it was where I first was introduced to it, I guess. Um, the colors in this one are Blue Bus, Gunmetal, Cobra, Baked, Bender, Gravity, Lost, Hijack, Midnight Cowgirl, Sin, Midnight Rodeo, Crystal, Bust, Missionary, Skimp, and Zephyr, or Zephyr, Zephyr, Z-E-P-H-Y-R. Um, and then this one I think is the last one, it either was the last one or the second to last one, um, it's the UD Hearts NYC palette. They did this one and then they did a second one, the NYC Redux palette, which had most of the same shades but a couple of different ones, so um, I think that this is the last one or it could be the second last one I don't recall with these last two that I showed you which one came out when but here's the inside has little lights and stuff in it and here's what the colors look like here is another palette I have barely touched Okay, so the colors in this palette are Perversion, Uzi, Loaded, Kush, Midnight Cowboy Rides Again, Last Call, Rockstar, Money, Hate, Maui Wowie, Swag, Oops, Smog, Bordello, Radium, Snatch, Suspect, and Psychedelic Sister. So that is the end of the Book of, Shadow Ra Book of Shadows reign. Uh, and then they started making Vice palettes. So here is Vice 1. I almost dropped it. That would have been horrible. Okay, here's Vice One. It has, um, imp definitely has improved packaging. This mirror stays up by itself. Um, and then here are the colors. And I will read them off for you. Um, Desperation, Muse, Jagged, Blitz, Penny Lane, Junkie, Chaos, Occupy, Unhinged, Black Market, Provocateur, Rapture, Vice, Noise, Armor, Nevermind, Echo Beach, Anonymous, Freebird, and Laced. The Vice 2 palette looks like this. Has the same little clicky. 
that has a mirror that goes up and stays up on its own. And here are the colors. Okay, I will read them out, out for you. Smoke out, love sick, shell shock, coax, X-rated prank, madness, strike, stash, poison, radar, damaged, voodoo, betrayal, derailed, dope, toxic, habit, ambush, and rewind. Here is the Vice 3 palette. Looks like this. Um, it's probably, it's one of my, it's one of, I like this packaging probably more than the others um, just because it's green like my hair. Here are the colors. Yeah, my lighting is awful. I'll read them off for you. Truth, Dragon, Vanity, Alien, Last Sin, Undone, Freeze, Lucky, Alchemy, Angel, Downfall, Heroine, Rain, Bondage, Defy, DTF, Broke Down, Bobby Dazzle, there's Bobby Dazzle again, um, Sonic and Revolver. Next um, is the Vice LTD palette. So it's technically the Vice 4 palette, but the next palette is called the Vice 4 palette. So this is just the, the Vice LTD palette. Um, packaging matches my hair, so I love it. I have barely used this palette. I'm a horrible person. And the colors are Nameless, Backdoor, Deeper, Disco, Heat, Crystal, Goddess, Vaporize, Floss, Perversion, Provocateur, Hoodoo, Freak Show, Junk Show, Blitz, Chase, Last Sin, Road Stripe, Anonymous, and Laced. Okay, the next one is Vice 4, which is you're pro you guys are probably more familiar with since it um, just recently went on sale at Sephora and on UrbanDecay.com. It looks like this. And I will read the colors off for you. Bones, Grip, Deadbeat, Beat Down, Pandemonium, Framed, Fastball, 1985, Underhand, Harlot, Discreet, Grasshopper, Sea Note, Arctic, Robbery, Bitter, Flame, Low, Crowbar, and Delete. And then lastly is the Vice LTD Reloaded palette, which is the most recent palette. And, um... I haven't even taken the brush out. That that is how much I have not used this palette. I have not used it at all. Um and the colors here are Suspend, Oil Slick, Road Stripe, Gash, Midnight Cowboy, 501, Shallow, Laced, Hot Pants, Mildew, Smog, Misdemeanor, Freak Show, Asphyxia, Acid Rain, Moonflower, UVB. UVB, gold mine, twice baked, and anonymous. I do have a couple other one-off things, fine foundations, um, highlights, a lipstick, um, but they're not really worth uh, talking an extra minute, ten minutes about. So, um, if there is any other brand that you'd like to see everything I own from them, I've got a lot of ColourPop, Kat Von D, lip tars. Um, I've got a, fa I've got a lot of Mac, a fair amount of Sugar Pill. Um, so NYX, I mean, if there's anything else that you guys want to see more in depth, um, you want to see more close up and want me to talk about, then let me know. Um, I love the Vice palettes. I love Urban Decay palettes. Um, I'm becoming more of like a makeup collector than like a makeup doer at this point. As you saw with some of my Vice palettes and even some of my Book of Shadows palettes, I have not used them barely at all. Um, and sometimes I wonder if it's because of the packaging. I kind of want to put everything in a Z palette and see if I might use it more um, if I saw it every day with everything else. Um, but I really, I really don't know. Part of the, part of, you know, keeping and collecting makeup is keeping and collecting the packaging as well. So um, I really don't know if I will ever do that. But I think the reason why I don't use them very often is because I put them um, kind of away from everything else but um, I hope you guys like this video and if you like please like comment subscribe if you haven't already um, if you have any questions comments or requests all of the information on how to get in touch with me will be down below and thanks for stopping by see you next time